Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to my houseplant tour. So it has been a long time coming, I realise that. Also, I am kind of recovering from flu, so my plants haven't necessarily had the maintenance that they needed to have. I haven't really been able to film anything else, so we are kind of stuck in this situation for now. I didn't really want to leave it another week without, you know, filming something for you guys so i would like to take you on an updated tour of the flat and all of the plants in it and show you basically how things are doing before i start i just want to let you know that i'm probably going to whittle down my plant collection by probably about 50 percent which i realize sounds you know a little bit ridiculous but honestly i don't know if you can tell kind of over there but it's just getting a little bit unlivable now. I think I've just got too much. Yeah, I just kind of want to take my collection down. So I'm going to show you everything I have, but in future, you might notice that I don't still have those plants anymore. Um, I will probably sell them on the shop or give them away or something. So I'm going to take you around. My plant tour pretty much does consist of this room and the office, which is just in there. So I will take you around this room first. The first thing I need to show you guys is, of course, Gus. Now, I know a few of you, I think, thought that I got rid of Gus. I haven't. He came with me and he is now a little bit ridiculous. So if I can move back and show you like his majesty, because he's kind of taken over the kitchen a little bit. I should probably chop him back like nobody needs a run to that big. Then again, he does look pretty cool and he's not hurting anybody. So I think I'll leave him there. He does have some crisp in there. That's my fault. Um, I suspect he's run out of water. He is in a self-watering pot, but I suspect he's run out of water. So I need to fill that up. But as I say, I've been so ill. <laughs> like I cannot describe how ill I have been. Um, I just, I haven't had time to do, well, anything really. So that is Gus right there. So the rest of my flat is as follows. Let's start over here, actually. You can see some lovely tissues from my cold. This, if I just turn this on, hopefully it won't start flashing. Is that worse or better with the light off? I actually think it's better with the light off. So this is my Monstera de Bayer. Um, You probably can't say this. Maybe you can. I don't know if I can actually grab it gently. But there's more than one in there. And it, well, Okay, so it's one plant, but it's grown two vines, so I just sat them on top of each other. I'm probably gonna trim this in spring, because obviously it's got some spread on it with the darker days. So I'll just probably trim it down, propagate it, and then just start again, because I only have so much plank of wood. So we'll see what happens with that, but it's doing pretty well. Um, I mean, Dubai, I find a pretty easy plants to grow anyway, and it's done nothing but grow like wildfire. So that's been a huge love for me. Then of course I have my variegated Monstera right here. I'm still in love with this plant just as much as I ever was. I haven't chopped it yet at all since I've got it. This is completely and only just how it was. It does have some new leaves. That's a nice speckly one. What else have I got? Oh, this one's pretty too. Pretty much everywhere you look, there's like really cute leaves, to be honest. It's got some really good genetics on it. I don't think there's really any part of the plant that isn't that variegated. Maybe this top one here, um, which I have showed you guys in the video before. Generally speaking though, it's looking pretty good. I have nothing bad to say about that. Is it wonky? Uh, maybe that's slightly wonky. I can't tell. Oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna explain this situation before I move on to the biob. I have here a Monstera elbow. I have a tie here. Then I have another elbow. Then I have another tie. There's many reasons why I have these. I think this one was photographed for the shop. Uh, might be this one that was propagated down because it was reverting. My tie I've had for ages, and then my super big tie. Isn't it looking the best, actually? Um, my super big tie just kind of chills there. So I need to get rid of at least these two elbows. Like, I'm not being funny. When you've got this guy, you don't really need either of these. Do you know what I'm saying? So they should have been moved from here a while ago. I just, I haven't had the chance, but they will be moved and decluttered because there is just no need to have all those Monstera. Now then, I'm gonna show you guys inside here and hopefully you will be able to see this and the reflection's not gonna cause problems. But this is my amazing Monstera Oblica. Let me see if I can just show you the best I can. It's had a couple of issues. I think the lights in the biob, um, 
they, I covered them up a while ago, I think I mentioned it in a video, and the light kind of burnt through the tape, so the oblique went a little bit yellow, and I also didn't fertilise, so it's fine, it's just looking a little bit tinged on some of the tips there. But in addition to that, you may notice some runner action. So I'll show you there, you can't really see because I've kind of covered it with moss, but there's two runners coming out from the plant. And let me tell you, it's a little bit crazy. Don't know if you can see that there. There's the other runner escaping at the back. It's just kind of grown round. If you have an obliquer or you know someone that has one, you may know that these runners grow insanely fast. So this has been growing for actually I don't know maybe a month maybe a bit more maybe two months been two months of growth I mean that's quite a bit so it's doing well in there I do need to cut the runners I just haven't yet because obviously I fell ill I basically fell ill I had tons of stuff to do and I didn't get around to doing any of it so I'm very very behind on stuff but as far as the other things in the orb go the Fetonia there is, I think it's got pretty massive actually. So that's doing fine. The bromeliads are all doing fine. In fact, one actually propagated itself. You can see there. Um, so everything in the orb, ooh, everything in the orb is doing all right. So that's kind of that corner. Oh, I didn't mention this. This is my wonderful yellow variegated Monstera cutting that I got off a Facebook auction and it is wonderful and it's just started to grow. It's taken ages, but it's started to grow right there. Don't think I can show you much better than that. We will see what happens with that. I have high hopes, high, high hopes that it's going to come out with some variegation because it's coming from kind of close to here. Even that leaf's got some, doesn't have a ton, but you know, it's yellow. You can't really find these things. They're very, very hard to find. So I'm just pleased to have one and I hope it grows okay. So that's the tie, we've covered the tie, don't mind YouTube. So this is, of course, my philodendron scandens. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I reported this a little while ago on a video. It's, oh, it just loves its life. It's grown all the way down here. Literally, it won't stop. Like, it won't stop. So I might have to trim that a little bit, I'm not sure. It's definitely doing a lot perkier since it was reported, so that's nice. Then I have my Hoya, oh man, what is it? Crimson Princess, I think. I think it's a Crimson Princess. Um, doing very well as, as well, very perky, very pretty. Doesn't really do much, but I imagine that's how it is to own a Hoya. I don't know, it's the only Hoya I own, but it's very pretty and it looks lovely with the lights on as well, because the lights, the color of the lights actually kind of match the plant, so that's super nice. And next to that, we have the Philodendron Micans, which is again looking perky. It went through a little bit of a, a situation where I didn't water it because guess what? I was ill, um, but it's looking all right. Again, that's grown tons as well. Absolutely tons. And I can show you by panning around there. I mean, they're just big bushy plants. If I move back from the TV, you'd be able to see how amazing it is, and how nice it is. But at the same time, this for me is a little bit cluttered, so. I do need to get rid of some of these things. But that is what is on top of the TV. And here we have two plants. This is Monstera, well it was Monstera epipremnoides. It's apparently now not, it is just simply undescribed. So this, I'm just gonna call it epipremnoides, but I mean, it's not apparently. Um, I don't think it has an ID yet. I think people are working on that. But it's doing okay. It's had this weird situation where it's decided to grow up the totem pole a little bit weirdly. So I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens. I don't think this is a light situation because the light in here is great. I don't know if you can tell um, on camera, but it's really, really good. So I'm not sure what's going on here. I think that could be a watering situation. So is this here <laughs> on my wonderful Florida ghost. This is what happens when you get ill and there's no one to water your plants but you. But this is my amazing Florida ghost, and it's one of two. I do still have the other one. I'm not gonna bother showing you it because it's in a different room today, and well, there's just no point. But it's got pretty large. Like, that's quite a big plant. Like, cause don't get me wrong, <laughs> I've got my moisture meter just stuck in there. If you can see the size of this pot, that's a big pot. And this whole plant takes up quite a bit of space, so it's not small. Like, it's not screwing around. I definitely don't wanna get rid of that at any point. I'm too in love with it. 
I think the situation in here is just this area here needs, you know, it needs clearing up. Like I don't actually want any of these on the floor here. I'd like them all gone. Um, I might switch the tie and put it in the office maybe and put something else there. I don't know. Maybe I could bring the other ghost in. That's what used to be there. I'm not really sure as of yet. I need to kind of just work out what's going on as soon as I've got rid of some plants. But that is basically my wonderful living room. I think it's looked better, to be honest. I just think it looks cluttered now. Maybe that's just me. I know, you know, to a lot of people this isn't really clutter, but for me it is, so yeah. So that is my living room area where a lot of my big plants are, but not all of my plants. So I'm now gonna take you through to the office and show you, to be honest, the bulk of my collection is in my office. So I will show you that now. Ta-da! So this is my office. Let me put the light on, although I don't know if it's gonna help. And well, I did nothing, did it? <laughs> I literally did. Oh no, it did something. Okay, it did something. So I'm gonna turn that humidifier off in a second, but just know that this office is kind of a little bit messy. Um, oh, this is one of my bags from my shop, by the way. These are the strongest bags you have ever known in your life. Can I just say, I get all my shopping in those. They're so unbelievably strong. So that's just hanging there. I have, I don't know how many I have in the house. I probably have about 20 just sat there. <laughs> so anyway, let's get onto the plants. So if I just go this way and just turn this off momentarily, because I don't really want it kicking us in the face with mist when I go around all my plants. So this is another reason why I need to declutter. This is no joke. This is not how I like my plants at all. I like my plant collection to look more like this and less you know, like this, this is not okay. So that's a reason why I'm going to declutter. And I think one of the plants I might declutter is this Gloriosum. Now there's nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, but it's a little bit wide. Like I know I can just get a smaller one. So I might actually swap it out for a much more smaller stumpy one, um, just cause this one has taken up too much space. So, I mean, I could, you know, just gather it together like that, but I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Oh, what is that noise? I have no idea what that noise is. Anyway, moving on from that, I've got the philodendron, I think it's El Choco Red. Oh my goodness, it's got a new leaf coming. Can you see that? <gasps> yes. So this is one of my favorite plants and I will definitely not be getting rid of this plant because it's so beautiful. But I don't know if you can see the backs of the leaves on this plant, but they're pretty special. They are really, really beautiful and red. And the foliage is extra dark, extra velvety. It's just one of my favorite things ever. So I'm definitely not declaring that. I'm gonna leave that here and hopefully it might look a bit nicer without loads of things in front of it. Now these two things I probably will declutter just because I don't feel like I have the space yet. Um, this here is Philodendron Gigas. And I don't think these are very easy to get a hold of. These are much difficult to get hold of. I do have some of these right now in the shop um, growing because I got them I got them in basically and they were just not in good condition, as probably you can see by the edge of some of these leaves. They're not doing unbelievable yet. They need some time. So over the winter, I'm gonna grow them and just make sure they're all nice and plump and beautiful. So I don't think I've got the room for this here. I will probably take it to the shop and grow it out there with the rest of them that are currently growing. Along with that, this variegated Syngonium that's just pushed out a new leaf. I will probably do the same thing with that too because it's, I don't think it's thriving in here. You see that one as well. It's a very beautiful plant, don't get me wrong. It's just not, I just have too many plants. And I know a lot of you, even YouTubers, like have so many more plants than this. But for me, this is just too much. So I'm too busy to take care of all of them, to be honest. Okay, so this is an interesting one. This is Drynaria quercifolia pinto. So this actually should be a white variegated Drynaria, um, like a basket fern. But I think the lights under here might be, might be reverting it. So I'm actually gonna see if I can grow this in my shop under different grow lights and we'll see if I can get it back white because the longer I leave this in here, just the more I risk it reverting basically. So I'm gonna do that. Plus it's like, it's sat on my humidifier. There's just no place for that. So I'll probably get rid of that too. Next up, I have this giant billetai. 
Now it is variegated. There was another leaf on this. You may remember me hauling it, I don't know, in a video a few weeks back. There is variegation. This is the new leaf and you can see that there is variegation there. But the new leaf, the big gigantic leaf, kind of snapped off. Well, it didn't snap off. It just kind of got crispy and it just, it just hated me, which can happen um, with a lot of heavily variegated plants in shipping, particularly philodendron, I find actually. Um, so I still have it, it's fine. It just needs to grow some extra shizzle. So that could do with a bit more space on here to grow as well, because obviously there's just, there's too much here. So that's another thing that I'd like to give the space to. Um, this one here has actually got a little bit too tall for my shelves. This is philodendron melanochrysum crossed with uh, philodendron barricosum. Very, very pretty hybrid. It is still growing. And yeah, it's just got too tall for the shelves. I still love this. It's so pretty. It has all the velvetness of a melanochrysum and it has kind of red backs. I do find that the red backs kind of diminish and just disappear over time. I don't know if I'm the only person there, but yeah, it's very, very pretty. It's kind of, it's doing some weird stuff because I think it's so dark in here. It's kind of curling itself to find the light, so it's not looking its best. Um, but I'm sure I'm not the only person that's, you know, got plants in winter that aren't doing well. So this, this big beautiful beast, let me just move back so you can see the true majesty of that. I think, I think this is Anthurium insigni. I think, don't quote me on that, I might be wrong. But how amazing is that? This is a new leaf. I had this actually growing in the shop and I brought it here, but I think it is too big to keep here. I mean, it's a bit of a beast. So that's probably gonna go back too. Is I really just need some space free on here. This is just no joke. Um, so beyond that, this is the plant that caused, well, a bit of a stir a while ago. This is the Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. As I mentioned many, many times, it has two growth points. So technically there's kind of two in the pot. Um, but I will not be separating it, put it that way. These are all the new leaves I've had since it's been here. This one's gone super fat and I really, like, I do not know why. That is a little bit of damage. I may have done that accidentally, but it's doing okay. It's just got kind of crappy growth because I think it's winter, but it'll be all right. There's a nice big long leaf. Uh, I'll show you the leaves on it. I wouldn't bother normally showing you all these leaves on plants, but I will make a special exception for this one there's another little stumpy one so it's doing fine it's just it's got really crappy winter growth really but it's in great health it's doing really well i haven't checked the root system because i just do not want to disturb it but i'm pretty sure it's fine so before i move down i'm going to show you the best i can i'm aware that this phone is not really holding me down here with the lights but this is my anthurium vitari folium it has a little bit of a crispy tip where once again I didn't get to watering it quite quick enough, but it's doing okay. It could be doing better, but it's doing okay. It's not really the best pot for it. Um, I think it needs potted into a bigger pot, but it's okay for now. Um, again, more plants that I have not had time to pot up. This is the Anthurium crystallinum that I hauled a while ago, and that there is the Philodendron majesty that I also hauled a little while ago. Uh, that red colored leaf there, I don't know how red it's coming off on camera, but that is a new leaf as well. So yeah, I really need to pot these up. It's kind of ridiculous that I haven't been able to, but they can survive in this packaging for a little while, so we're good so far. Now this shelf, I'm actually quite proud of because these two plants here, this one and this one, is uh, Monstera carstenianum variegata or Monstera peru variegata. And the genetics on these are pretty impressive. That's all variegation. That's all variegation. There's a new leaf that's come out, obviously winter growth. Hasn't quite, you know, developed its variegation yet, but it will. Um, not only that, but the variegation on this cutting that I took a while ago from the same plant has also fantastic levels of variegation. So basically, there's some really fantastic genetics there. Now, I don't want to keep them both. I don't really know why I still have them both. I should probably just sell one, but we'll just see how it goes. I may as well wait till spring and just keep them here because I'm quite fond of them, actually. Definitely some of my favorite Monsteras. Massive fan. Oh, sorry if you see gnats, by the way, guys. I'm really, really sorry. I do still have a gnat problem and the winter has not helped. Okay, this is Monstera Standaliana variegata, and it's actually not the whole plant. 
the this is actually a cutting of the plant it kind of grew in a really weird way so I chopped it all down um, so it's not what's left of it it's just the bit that I'm keeping I'm sending off the root ball to my shop and I'm gonna grow it out there and grow a new plant from that and I've kind of kept this cutting for now I may still sell the cutting I don't know I'm just gonna wait and see what I feel like I'm not really selling anything till spring anyway so I've got plenty of time to think about it now then you may notice that this plant has its own shelf and this plant is very special. You can't really get hold of these plants that easily, I wouldn't say, anyway. This is Philodendron Luxuriens, as in the actual Philodendron Luxuriens. It's wonderful. It's really, 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 really pretty. It took me a lot to get a hold of these. Um, I'm just kind of growing this one out. Oh God, it looks so pretty. You know, I love variegated plants, but every so often there will be a beautiful, just all green plant that just Oh, really catches me by surprise. I love it. So yeah, that is Philodendron Luxuriens. I haven't seen, I don't think, anybody with one of these in their collections. Let me just try and rotate it a little bit so you get a really good sense of what it looks like. Oh, it is velvety for anyone wondering. I, don't, I think you can see on the, uh, the video that it's velvety there if I push it up against the light. It's really, really beautiful. It's got a little growth spike there. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. That's probably why it's got its own shelf, just to chill, you know, and do its thing. So down here, we have one or two different things and it's probably gonna take me a hot minute to get them out, but I'll try and go through them really, really quickly because honestly, there's nothing, you know, groundbreaking down here. This is a little Monstera Thai constellation. This is a tiny little plug that I had a long time ago and I've grown it out from the plug. The roots are, really serious like it's it's beyond a joke um but i don't know what to do with it i don't know whether to sell it or what because i'm waiting for the variegation to get a little bit better than what it is um but it's not fantastic so i've kind of kept it all this time i'd like to gift it i think to somebody but i don't know anybody that wants one so we'll just see what happens with that in this random bag that i have not had time to pot i don't know if you can tell oh can you tell mm, that's probably a bit of a stretch kaylee can you see? Okay, that's probably the best I can do. That is Monstera Siltipicana. And it needs potted up, and I haven't potted it up. <laughs> I will when I get time. It's probably going to be another repot with me when I do. But, yeah. Right. This one is adorable. Genuinely, this is possibly the cutest little thing you have ever seen. This is Monstera Oblique. I kid you not, it is. And it's adorable and it's tiny is that not the tiniest little obliquity you've ever seen look at that man oh that is just wonderful it's the cutest little thing it's taking its merry time um due to reasons <laughs> i think it's due to its position on the runner it's taken much longer to grow like i've had way like so many other oblique that have outgrown this, this one in the same amount of time this one i think is just the runt of the runner if you will so yeah it's taken a while um disclaimer this has absolutely nothing in it it's just moss in there there are some what's in there i think there's some standaliana variegata cuttings in there but they're not doing anything so there's not a lot of point in you know trying to get it out and show you you'd just be looking at moss with sticks in it so this however i'm super proud of and i've shown you guys this before and it's got a new leaf from when i've shown you it's so exciting this is Philodendron Burley Marks Fantasy. You can't get these very easily. You can get them. It's just not very easy to get them. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a trailing Philodendron, but obviously mine is nowhere near that level yet. And the leaves do get quite big. Obviously this looks pretty dwarfed, but they can get really, really big. Like, I suspect they can get almost as big as Gygus leaves. I'm not 100%, so don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure they can get close to it. Well, I mean, Gygus probably get way bigger than those leaves, but you get my point. I think they get somewhat close to the Gygus leaves that I have up there. How cute is it though? It's so adorable. Let's keep it covered up on a heat mat. And that seems to just go a bit crazy. Let's try and wrap this up very safely because I don't want anything bad to happen. Come on. So we'll just pop that ooh, back on that heat mat there. Right, moving on. This, this is a bit of a brute. I don't know if anything new has happened since I last showed you this. Maybe it has. I think we have an all green leaf again. 
So this is my Florida Beauty, my Philodendron Florida Beauty. Um, it's got, the variegation is, is annoying me, to be honest, because we've got either all yellow or all green. It's just the way that the variegation is going up the stem. Um, there's two leaves that have kind of done a beautiful half and half kind of, you know, experience. So that's great. And this one is great. The others are not so great. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. I'm just, it, to be honest, I'm in no rush to do anything with it. So I'm probably just going to leave it and let it grow out. Maybe I could cut it in the spring and, you know, get some cuttings out of these. Like I should just, yeah, maybe actually, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of planning this as I'm going along. Can you tell? I might chop this down in spring and divide it up and make new plants because maybe it's time. Oh, my microphone is around the plant. There we go. But for now, she just lives here because it's the only place she can live. Hence, obviously, I need to get rid of some plants. It's not a joke anymore. It's a little bit ridiculous. So moving on with Le Tour. I will show you this one now just because it's here and it's large and it's in charge. This is my Monstera Panati Partita. It's grown a little bit wonky, should we say. It used to look like a beautiful big pair of wings, but just the lighting in this place, it's its not what it was. I have every faith that if I moved it, you know, in spring, it would probably grow, it would move back and it would look pretty again. But at the minute, that's kind of what it is. Again, another reason why I need to get rid of some plants, I need the space to move around the plants that I've got. So I'll be doing that as soon as I can. There is cuttings down here. Um, what do you call it? Pink Congo there that's actually showing signs of reversion on that leaf. Um, here we have a, what is it? Alocasia reticulata, I think. It's my only alocasia left now, I think. But yeah, that's my beautiful alocasia in the window there. Not a lot to show you there. Um, I'm just kind of speeding up, guys, because my battery is flashing low. This here is my alocasia dragon scale. Again, it's, it's done better but all these plants have had, you know, a certain amount of neglect. So it's doing okay. It was kind of spread massively out in the pot, so I've kind of staked it together, but it's okay. It needs, again, it needs a proper place to live. I can't just have plants all over the floor. So I really need to get rid of some stuff. This here is my Anthurium clinervium, of course. Um, it's, I don't think it's really grown. I think it's pushed out a couple of leaves this year, but not many, but it's had a bit of an ordeal. So it probably needs repotted. I seriously suspect that that is pot bound. Um, so this here is my Anthurium Plowmanii variegata. It is huge and it is not going to stay here anymore. I'm going to get rid of it and put it back in the shop and sell it because it's just too big. Like it takes up so much space. I can't get to anything. So I'm probably going to get rid of that very, very soon. Um, we could start from up here as well. This is my Philodendron Billetai. This is seriously giving me Spiritus vibes. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look like a Spiritus leaf. That's so weird. Um, yeah, pop bound. I can see already up there. More roots are coming out. Very irritating because I don't think I've got a pot that it can go in. So I'm just going to have to leave it as it is for now. Here we have my, what is this? Oh, hang on, I'm going to cough. I really hope that wasn't terrible down the microphone. This is my, uh, what is it? Epipremnum penatum variegata. Very, very beautiful plant. These things grow very, very big. They get splits up them. They look very reminiscent of a variegated monstera when they grow. So they're really, really pretty. I'm gonna keep that for now because it's just got, you know, it's got its place on the shelf. That's absolutely fine. I don't really see the need to, you know, change it. <laughs> I'll get rid of it. Next to that, I have a wonderful Philodendron White Knight. It does have some winter growth here, so the growth is smaller. It's doing really well though. Look at how white the white actually is. It's a little bit insane. Look at that. Oh, it's so nice. And look at the stems. I really love these plants. I like them more than the wizards. I've mentioned that before. Um, I just find that the stems are more contrasted and it's a little bit more to look at. So I'm a fan of those. Here we have Prinny. I like to call her Prinny because she's so beautiful. This is my Philodendron Pink Princess. Look at that, please. Very, very beautiful. I won this at an auction in um, California for the International Arrow Show. So I still have this. It's very gorgeous. I mean, oh, do, you, do you even need anything else? Here we have a new leaf coming through and if you own a Pink Princess, you will understand the struggle 
that is this kind of ridiculous situation every time a leaf comes out. I know better now <laughs> than to try and ease it out um, because I've lost so many leaves doing that. But you can see there's quite decent variegation on that leaf. So that's quite exciting when it ever, whenever it wants to make an appearance. This is not doing so well. This is my philodendron varicolsum. It could be doing a lot better. Really, it needs some TLC. Look at that. It's missed a couple of waterings. It's not ideal. Not ideal at all, but it'll get some TLC. I think it actually needs repotted as well. I think the um, the potted in is probably too small now, but I potted it down a size just to be on the safe side. So under here, we have a couple of things. Some things are looking good. Some things are not. This here is my Aglaonema Pictum tricolor. It is looking so much better since it was potted up properly into soil. Um, I repotted this in a repot with me video. Again, this is the old leaves and you can see a little bit of yellowing. The new leaf has come out very, very beautiful and we have new growth, so it's thriving. That's really, really good. This here is my Begonia Amphioxus. It's not doing great, but I've also neglected it. So I'm not necessarily expecting too much from it, if I'm honest. The new leaf's very pretty though. I can just rotate this. New growth is good. Just the old growth is kind of not good. It's very, very pretty. Can recommend. They're just kind of, well, I don't even know I don't even know if it's difficult, it's the only begonia I've got, so I don't know. Maybe it's difficult, maybe it isn't. This is my Anthurium vichii, looking a little bit wonky actually, but it's still red because it's a new leaf, it's just coming out. Um, it's grown a bit weird, again, because it's under the grow lights, it doesn't really like life. I may get rid of this one, just because, I don't know, I, I feel like I could just get a bigger one if I wanted one. I'm a little bit bored of it, again, I had this one from a plug as well. It's growing beautifully, don't get me wrong, it's doing fantastic, I just, I don't know, maybe I've lost love for it, I don't know. Right, let me just try and get down here and show you what I think a lot of you want to see. So I'm not going to show you in that Tupperware because it's literally, it's moss, there's nothing in there. But there is something in here and everybody seems to love what is in here. It is growing beautifully, I can announce. Look at this. That is my variegated Adansonii, and it's looking so cute. You can't, I'm showing you top down because honestly with the condensation in there, you can't really see, you know, through it or anything. And it's too hard to get it out with one hand. So I will just literally just show you this way. But how amazing is that? Oh, it's so cute, honestly. It's thriving, to be honest, on the heat mat, plus being in this container um, as such. I'm gonna leave that there and I'll put it back properly. I don't want to accidentally cook it. But yeah, variegated Adansonii doing really, really well. It's a long way off, you know, a cutting or anything like that. Obviously, it's only got two leaves, but you know, in a bit of time, I think it'll do pretty well. Or do we just have two plants left? I think we do. So this is my philodendron, Jose Bono, Jose Bueno. I think it's Jose Bono. Um, it's not doing the best. It had another leaf, but it dropped off. It went brown and crispy because guess what? I didn't water it because I was unwell. So this one needs to go. I think it's, I don't have a place for it. It needs to thrive elsewhere. You know, I, I can't exactly use my computer with all these plants here, which is fine right now because obviously I've been ill, but you know, it's just, there's no point. I need to, um, need to get rid of some stuff. So this I don't think has made the cut, but I will probably sell it. So if you're looking for it, you may find it on the shop in the spring if you are interested in buying such a beautiful plant. Because it is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, it's gorgeous. It's massive, by the way, as well. I just don't really have the room. Along with this, um, I will probably keep this, to be honest. I'll just wait till I get rid of some plants and then, you know, move it into an appropriate spot. But this is my wonderful Philodendron Florida Ghost. And it's kind of reverse variegated. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, this leaf has been like this for months, by the way, like months and months. It would appear that this is just how the leaf is now. I think that's just the coolest thing ever. It's really, really unique. The rest of the leaves are obviously, you know, a bit more normal looking. But as I say, this leaf here is just, look at that. That's awesome. Again, oh, that one's a bit gnarly, has to be said. Looks like it's snapped. But yeah, it's grown well. Let me have a little rotate. New growth coming out of there, so there's a new leaf coming. I mean, anyone that knows me knows I'm pretty obsessed with Florida Ghost, so unsurprisingly, I have more than one in the house. This is technically one of three. The other Florida Ghost is next door uh, in the window, and then in my room, I have my massive 
uh, Stramanthi Trio Star, which I feel like people think I don't have anymore, but I do. <laughs> it just never gets any press because I'm never in the room. So let me just put that off. That there is my wonderful office. The bulk of my plant collection obviously resides here. I really do need to whittle it down, as you can tell. The shelves themselves look fine, but everything that has been moved off the shelf just needs some serious work. Like I can't, I can't keep that many plants. It's it's not enjoyable when there's that much clutter. So I do need to really get rid of some. Um, let me know what you think about me getting rid of some plants. I don't want to, you know, annoy people by getting rid of them. But at the end of the day, you know, I have to live here. I have to take care of these things. And if somebody else can take care of these plants and give them more time and love than I can, then, you know, why not? Do you know what I mean? So that is my wonderful office. I'm now going to close the door on it and just leave them be. Oh, let's quickly put this back on because I turned this off. Yeah, boy. And now we shut the door. And that's it. In the time it took me to do this tour, it's now gone super, super dark. So I'm going to go now. I'm going to make a cup of tea and I'm going to cough, actually. <coughs> I'm going to sit on the sofa and enjoy my evening, I think, because I'm still very, very ill. But as I say, I really wanted to get something out for you guys. Um, thank you very much for putting up with me being ill and obviously being tolerant of the fact that I haven't put out content last week. Believe me, I felt awful about it. But at the same time, I knew I just needed to, you know, just chill out. I just knew <laughs> I was not up to it. I think I tried to film a video and as soon as I sat, like I sat up or I walked around or I stood, I felt like I was going to pass out. So it just, it couldn't be done. But likewise, thank you very much for basically just allowing me to heal and allowing me to get better. I am getting better. I'm, I'm pretty much on the mend. Um, I can go about my daily life pretty much. It's just, I don't feel the best necessarily. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'm pretty sure content will resume as normal from today onwards. I don't want to say 100% yes, there will be a video out next week, just on the off chance that I get so busy with Christmas. Uh, I can't. So take what I'm saying with a pinch of salt, but I'm pretty sure content is back to normal. Oh, before I go, because I'm sure somebody's already commented on this right now. No, there is no tree in here. There's no Christmas tree anywhere in my flat. Again, because I've been so ill, I haven't been able to organize the tree. So as it happens, I think I've ordered all my decorations off Amazon and I'm getting the tree like in the next couple of days and I'm going to remove the bio temporarily. I'm going to put the tree in that corner. But literally being ill has just screwed me up, fam. So it will get Christmassy in here. I've got some lovely table centerpiece stuff as well. It will get Christmassy. It just isn't right now. So please don't think I'm a Grinch. I've just, I really have been that ill, you know? Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Thank you very much for putting up with me this week. And I hope you enjoyed my houseplant tour. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I will hopefully see you very, very soon, guys. Have a great weekend. Oh, Merry Christmas. If I don't see you guys before then, actually I won't, I don't think, because I think Christmas is before the next upload. So Merry Christmas, guys. Have a great one, if you celebrate it, that is. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.